Freedom Rising Independence Day 2013 t-shirt. But I gotta do some research because it's on a Gildan tag, but it's a Guy Harvey shirt. So I don't know if they collect, I don't know if they had shirts that were on Gildan tags. But it does look legit to me, so I'm gonna do some more research on this. But uh, Guy Harvey's good to look for for t-shirts. A lot of people buy it for fishing. This is size XL. So um, <clears throat> hopefully I get you know 20, 25 bucks for that. Next up, I got a. This is a Ping Collection golf men's polo shirt. And this is brand new with tags. Brand new with tags. It's got an embroiderment on the front. It says Polini. I don't know what that is. It's probably some kind of company. But the you know the embroiderment's not like a bright color, so it kind of blends in with the shirt. So I think somebody will still pick this up. It's new with tags. Hopefully I can get about 25 to 30 for this. Ping's a good brand, you know, it's a, it's an okay brand, but it's new with tags, so I'm taking a gamble on this. Next up, I found this, um, uh, what's it called? Starbucks Clear Travel Mug. So, um, you gotta look up Starbucks. Some of the things are worth money. The, the world, the world uh, coffee mugs are worth the most, I think. But um, this right here, I think I can get a few dollars out of this. It's in really good shape. It's missing the straw part, but um, I think I can still get some money out of this. So it was less than a dollar. Hopefully, I can get you know at least fifteen bucks for that. Found these um, silver knight. Uh, baseball team pencils. These are the, this is the team out of Nashville, New Hampshire. The minor league baseball team. These are less than a dollar. These are only eighty cents. So hopefully somebody out there that collects minor league baseball things will pick this up. You know, hopefully I get about ten bucks out of this. I'm not looking to get too much, but uh, so I got one more thing to show you guys, and I think it was the best find of the day. It's in a vintage 1982 car, uh, Cabbage Patch Kids um, plastic cup. I picked this up for less than two dollars. <throat> I didn't see anything like this on eBay. You know, it could it could be it could be a really good find. It could be just an average find, but I'll have to see if there's any recent solds. But I didn't see any cups like this on eBay. But um, I'm gonna take another look. You know, this is old school vintage, 1982. Um, brings back memories when I was a kid. My mom was working at uh, Child World, National New Hampshire, when these guys came out with these dolls, and it was it was nuts, guys. It was totally nuts. So uh, yeah, hopefully I can get some good money for this. It's gonna be really easy to ship. It's super light. Pay less than two dollars for it, so. If I get 20 bucks for this, at least $20, I'll be happy, but hopefully I can get a lot more than that. But uh, that's all I got for today, guys. I appreciate you guys watching the whole video, and uh, we'll talk soon. Peace.